sell your house fast. And I'm not just talking about saying you sold it super fast for the sake of saying that. I'm talking about how to sell it fast and for top dollar. I'm gonna give you five tips to think about. That's what I'm talking about today, stick around. I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to sell your house fast and still get top dollar. And you might be thinking, Annie, everything sells fast in Silicon Valley. And part of you is right. A lot of things do go quickly, but just because they go quickly does not mean that they got top dollar. So if that's something that's important to you, let's go over the five things. So I'm going to start with number five. Here in Silicon Valley, it's very common for um, sellers to set an offer date. And on that offer date, that's when every, all the buyers submit their offer. So there kind of creates a competition. Some agents are really big about, let's take a preemptive offer. Well, preemptive offer is, let's just say for this example, you list your house on a Thursday and you set the offer deadline for the following Wednesday. Agents will be calling the listing agent and saying, when's the offer deadline? What's important to your seller? You know, asking all those questions. Well, if they're a good agent, they're doing that. Not all agents do that. But anyway, they will be asking also if your seller will consider taking a preemptive offer, meaning an offer before the deadline. If someone's willing to write a preemptive offer, it's going to be clean. It's going to be strong. They really want it. And they'll advise their seller, let's take it. Less hassle for you. You don't have to keep showing the property. The problem with that is you have no idea what the other buyers were going to write. You have no way to now pit buyers against each other to drive the sale price up. So if selling the house in an easy way and quickly is more important to you, great, take the preemptive offer. But if you want to sell it quickly and for the highest price, don't take a preemptive offer. So that's number five. Number four, let's make sure your curb appeal is great. So that's your first impression. It is so key to make sure the front of your house looks good. Let's power wash. Let's put some mulch, you know, around the flower beds. Let's put a few flowers, new fresh flowers. Make sure the lawn is mowed, obviously. But another little thing, make sure your front door and the entryway is really clean. No spider webs, no, you know, dirt and dust power wash around that and if we need to let's paint the front door and another thing people don't think about are your numbers so if you live at 123 main street let's get a cool one two and a three to put up and it just pops the house a little bit you'd be shocked maybe even change a light by the front door but you can keep it simple but just make sure your house shows great as they're walking up to the front door number three when they walk in the house what's the first thing they're going to see don't race in and out of your house like you do every day. Let's take a step back and say, what's the first thing someone who's never been in this house, what are they going to see? And let's make sure that room, that wall, that space is clean, neat, not cluttered, and that it smells fresh when they walk in. I have a video about how to get rid of smells in your house, but seriously, that's key. So again, that your first impression when they're walking up to the house, their first impression when that door opens up, those are critical. Number two, marketing and pre-marketing even before it hits the market. What is your realtor going to do? How are they gonna get some exposure for that house? As much as realtors like to pat their own selves on the back and how great they are and how their sale went way over the list price, I did another video about that, oh, that's kind of a joke sometimes, but it's supposed to go over the list price here. But what are they doing to make sure they drive as many buyers into that house as possible? Are they emailing other agents? And this is after the obvious that of course you put it online and it goes to you know, the MLS system, Zillow, all those, Trulia, all those um, other online sites. But what are they doing in addition to that? Are they reaching out to realtors to make sure realtors are aware of it? Are they doing social media ads? Let's, let's find out because I spend around $1,700 a month on my online ads. And it, the point is to help get as many buyers into that house to drive the price up. And if everything looks good and it shows well and the pictures look good, they're coming to the house. Buyers are really gonna want that house and when you set that offer deadline, I mean, people, it's only a week of showings and you set that offer deadline, we're gonna create the competition. You're gonna have your housing contract in a week. You know you're gonna get the highest price because we're, we'll get multiple bidders 
and it's my job to do the negotiation to push that price up. So that's important. What are you or your realtor doing for the marketing? And then the number one thing I always tell people when I meet them, sellers that are considering selling, is when you interview realtors, ask, do they work with buyers and sellers? Do they do more buyers? Do they do more sellers? What is the breakdown? I specialize in listing houses. 80% of my business is listing. Some years it's even a little higher. I only work with a handful of buyers. Um, so it keeps me hearing what buyers are looking for but really my specialty is prepping houses and getting them ready to list. I always think about it kind of like an attorney. If attorneys work for defenders and prosecutors, what are they really good at? I feel like it's a little bit like that with realtors. Some realtors are awesome with buyers and they just, that's their specialty and they're good at it. And they're not very good at listing houses. They just aren't. They're not sure how to get the house ready. They don't know what kind of marketing to do. So, Again, find someone that really specializes in listing houses. And there are my five tips. I hope those help. If you have any questions, comment below, reach out to me by email, whatever. Uh, subscribe to my channel. That really helps. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And until next time, have a great one.